I was one of those kids that used to sing and dance and run around and I wanted to be, you know, Judy Garland and meet me. In I liked musicals as a kid. I also liked uh, Home Alone, Jurassic Park, I love Ghostbusters, all the Indiana Jones movies, all, all I loved Tim Burton growing up. I love, I watched tons of movies. I never put on a sexy face, so I don't know. I don't know, um, you know, I don't know what it means to be, uh, to act seductive. I, How tall are you? I'm five, well, I would say five, four on a good day. No, you are. All my dreams, I'm sure if you analyze them, are filled with anxiety all the time because even in my regular life, I may be very relaxed, but apparently in my subconscious, I'm dying to get things done. Time a dentist tells me I just, changing at a new dentist and they, yeah um some i i don't i don't do any of that social networking stuff right. i don't know i don't know the idea of it just it baffles me i, I it seems day. a little it's like too much can i don't like that kind of connection it's well, you, too connected uh, and no i get to throw <laughs> my phone into the river i i get so sick of it i hate the noise and being constantly sometimes i'm just like oh, I, I can't and i have i mean i've always been very sensitive to all, all kinds of things around me it's wonderful. It's nice to sort of travel undercover sometimes. <laughs> In Italy, I've had the most bizarre dreams ever. You know, I, I somebody came up to me and said, you know, it's you know, so is this your, you know, this is your breakout film. It's the first one you've ever done, and yeah. how exciting for you to be in Hollywood. And the rage for some, whatever reason, I started to get really angry, like, don't you know who I am? You know, right. in some awful way. And I just killed her with my kindness. You know, I said, yes. Well, so I never really think about it because I'm always, my mind is always in work, and so I never have time to, I don't read magazines and I don't, I don't. My style, my casual style, I think I could very easily be uh, uh, mistaken for any other girl in New York. You know, I have just a casual sort of street style. You know, in my actual life, I'm not particularly glamorous. I don't live a very big, grand lifestyle, you know. <laughs> I, do, I like to cook. I like to bake and... Uh, Are you a good cook? Um, I think I'm yeah. an all right cook, yeah. but I guess everybody does. Italian? Yeah, <laughs> is what we have. <laughs> Hey, what day were you born? November 22nd. You too? That's, That's so weird. weird. Whoa. <laughs> I am not by nature a particularly private person, but by profession I am extremely private. I'm not the type to divulge facts about my personal life. I am fiercely protective of my family and I have no social media presence. You, I have a bit of a staring problem. I mean, it's not really, it's just only occasionally. Right, right. You mean <laughs> if someone... It's not a problem necessarily, you know, but it's but, like if somebody's staring at me, I can't help but notice how they're staring. Right. It's the way people stare, like how they try not to stare, but they do. And I become so infatuated with how they're staring that it blows my cover completely. I don't. I know that I should probably be more patient than I am with things, but I don't like to be patient because I feel like you should strike while the iron's hot and get things going. I mean, nobody advocates for you like you do for yourself. You know, if you. You kind of get left by the, you know, by the wayside unless you keep pushing forward. And um, but I'm sure there's times when I am impatient, um, and I guess that's something that you know is a virtue that I'll just try to keep reminding myself of and trying to remind myself to be compassionate and those things. But what I'm learning is that with every gain there's a loss, and with every loss there's a gain.